Now, we fell in love... A dog's climbed Everest. ...Renee Zellweger as the voluptuous and cheeky Bridget Jones. But at a recent red carpet event in New York, she looked completely different. Facial cosmetic surgeon Dr Will Mooney is here to talk about celebs who've taken their pursuit for perfection too far. So what has she done? Good morning, guys. Look, uh, Zellweger obviously is no stranger to changing herself. My brother and his wife had the first baby yesterday. Penel oh, Pen Penelope, old. two kilos. Now, she l gained and lost six Penelopes for each Bridget Jones. That's 12 <laughs> kilos, right? So right. think right. about that. So she's no stranger it's to changing the, herself. It's not the weight that I'm thinking of. It's, it's no, what she's eyes. done is this. What she's done is this. Her whole shtick with Bridget Jones was her warmth, her warm smile. And by paralysing around her eyes too much, she's lost that warmth. Right. I think a lot of pay, uh, you know a lot of uh, we, celebrities yes. lose sight of what their their thing is, their yeah. chic, their highlight, and she's I done agree. it. She looks good, but she doesn't have. She that doesn't look like Renee Zellweger though. Show. She doesn't have that warmth. She's that she like used Laura to have. Linney or something. Courtney Love's recently admitted to having a facelift at 35. Now it sounds, you know, she's worried about the sagging skin and now, stuff like that. This is life decisions aren't her strong suit. Let's be honest. She called it. <laughs> she called a band hold. She married Kurt Cobain. She called her daughter Frances Bean. But I think in a lot of ways, she, sometimes she looks better than she used to, and that's because she's got better volume in her cheeks. Right. Um, I think a rhinoplasty doesn't look a million bucks there. It looks like it's uh, thinned out, it looks a bit crooked. But remember with volume, I always say volume's great, but only replacing what you had lost or what you, what you had before is the key. Uh, Doc, Melanie Griffith, she's, she's gone to extremes with plastic surgery, yeah. but recent it's... photos suggest she's trying to undo some of the damage. So how does that work? I think she's just getting better work, Melanie Griffith. I mean, she really had a lot of ageing around her neck. In our clinic, we've got a great laser to get rid of that, that saggy, baggy neck changes that yep. you've got. And I think she looks better sometimes and worse other times. That worse there, the but Bo, the Bo Derek do. Yeah. yeah, Bo's done it in the 80s, and I think we'll leave it back in the 80s. Too much volume here, guys. Too big a lips, too big a cheeks. The rules are replace what you had, what you used to have, not try and go overboard to try and correct it. And even Heidi Montag, she's now reduced at cup size because she was over the top in plastic. So, I mean, can you reverse it? Can you put the genie back into the bottle once you've started this whole look, route and you've gone too far? Look, I think people have butterflies when they're thinking about getting revision surgery, and rightly so. It's never as good as it was going to be the first time. Right. The first thing you should do if you're thinking about revision surgery is think, do you really want to revise it? Because the simplest, safest thing you can do is nothing. You've also got to understand that if you're revising surgery, it's never going to be perfect. And a lot of these people come back for revision surgery thinking, this time it's got to be perfect, and this time I've got to make it right, and it gets hard every time. My advice is to go to somebody reputable and do your research before you commit to having anything done. That's not you in that picture, is it? No. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Just checking. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you Dr. Sonia. Will. Cheers, guys. Okay.